Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, my darlings, and happy day of Rabona. If you're new here, my name is Dante James, and I am vlogging my first year of sobriety. I became sober from alcohol on March 1st of 2021, and I just celebrated eight months of sobriety on November 1st of 2021. If you're on your own sober journey or would just like to follow mine, hit that subscribe button, like this video. It really helps out my channel and pushes out my videos where I can help somebody's maybe thinking of starting their own sober journey or maybe even brighten someone's day. So jump on the sober train with me. I'll click your ticket and welcome. And if you're not new here, hey guys. Hello, my darlings. <laughs> so guys, let's go see what we're doing today. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I know. Calm down. Hold the, hold the presses. Stop the newspapers. I'm just here. Looking gorgeous as ever. Um, guys, <laughs> I didn't have a chance to get ready yet. It is like nine o'clock in the morning. So I didn't have a chance to get ready yet. JB is looking dapper and fresh as a daisy. I just have yet to, I mean, I, I could, I could have dinner like this and just be like this all day. Like, see my socks. Um, so, cause I already look so, so gorgeous. So gorgeous. But today is Thanksgiving. I don't get this stupid holiday. I really don't. I don't even get what we're celebrating. I really don't. But it's an excuse for JB to cook some really, really delicious foods. Today, guys, is also my two-year anniversary on YouTube. Woo! But it's being overshadowed by this stupid holiday. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. What would I be doing today anyway? You guys know I'm horrible at planning things. Ever since I became sober, I'm horrible at planning celebrations or anything anymore. So I'd probably be doing nothing. If it was just any other Thursday, I probably wouldn't be celebrating that much. So Anywho, so GB's in the in the there's a wren. I know. Um <laughs> see you show him the bit of attention. See? There he is. Okay. Alright, alright. Um, JB's in the kitchen prepping. I'm not sure. I know that he has to... Okay. I Maybe I shouldn't say too, too much. Maybe I shouldn't say too, too much. I'll let him uh, tell you what he's making. Because I know that he has to make something before he makes something else. And something else before something else. So, um, and also you guys may be wondering, why do we spend Thanksgiving at home and not with our families? Well, there's a couple reasons. The first reason is... I'll do the good with before the bad first. The first reason is um, we do have two families, so it's kind of hard, and I'm not a big fan of this holiday, but we do have two families, so it's kind of hard to decipher whose family we're going to spend it with and whose family we're not, because both of our families live close to us, so we just decided to stay at home, and it's a tradition we've done for the past couple years. It's just easier for us. We like to get up, stand, be in our PJs, JB likes to cook. Um, and we just like to stay home. It's like a day off, you know, I, in the past it was, at least it's a day off for GB. But the second reason is because we were alcoholics. So we didn't want to go out and drink and drive. So we used to stay home so that we could drink all day. Um, we'd probably be drinking probably by 10 o'clock. We'd start making our Bloody Marys and just drink the whole day away and cook and eat. Um, but not this year. Not this year. It's our first so sober holiday. So that's really exciting. Those are two reasons why, guys. We just like to stay home. And like my, my dad messaged me this morning and said, oh, come over and surprise your mom. And I was like, uh, we have so much to do today. Like there's so much cooking to do. And I, I'm not a big Thanksgiving person. I think it's just a dumb holiday. For me, it's just an excuse to eat. Which I don't need any excuses for that. <laughs> we all know that, okay? So let's go in the kitchen and see what JB is doing. And then I'm gonna... I know I don't have to, but then I'm gonna start getting ready. So, alright. Let's go see what JB is doing. Hey, JB. Well, happy Thanksgiving. Oh, I'm a turkey. <laughs> eat me. <laughs> Okay, so what are we, do you want to tell them what we're doing for dinner, or do you want to just do what you're doing here first? Uh, first thing we are doing, uh, I'm making a homemade pie crust Ooh. For, for the dessert. He's such a little baker, y'all, I love it. We're, I'm making a uh, pineapple uh, ginger uh, custard pie. Mm. So first thing I'm going to do is make up uh, homemade, the dough for the pie crust. Okay. So we'll get started on that. Oh, okay. I'm going to. Oh, look! Look at that flour container. No, it's, 
Wow. Labeled and everything. That's some, that's some good quality. So we'll have... Two and a half cups of flour. Okay, two and a half cups of flour. And how much salt would you use? Uh, roughly a teaspoon or so. Okay. Okay, so you mix the salt and flour? Yep. Okay. Now we're taking, now the, uh, we're using a mixture of uh, butter and Crisco. Okay. And you like that mixture, huh? It, 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 it's nice. You get a combination of uh, both characteristics with the, the flavors and the uh, flakiness and all and uh, the ability to keep shape. And so it's, yeah, I like using a mixture. Okay. Uh, we're using, and I had these both in the freezer just to chill them. When did you put them in the freezer? Uh, earlier. Oh, you've been planning this all morning, huh? I tell you. So we're going to use um, six tablespoons of butter. So six tablespoons of butter, okay. I'm going to cube it up. Two thirds of a cup of Crisco. That's one third. Just eyeballing it? Yeah. Two thirds. Use a uh, cutter. I'm going to use this to and try and uh, bring this all together. A potato masher. You can use a, what do they call it? Uh, dough cutter, which is similar to this, but has blades on the end. But we're gonna bring this, mix this up until uh, it starts to form. We wanna get like pea-sized bits. Okay. All right, y'all, so we'll be back when he's done mixing this up. How'd it come, JB? Good. Yep. Oh, perfect. It's like little so, turds. <laughs> so I'm gonna take, um, so I'm, I iced water. Okay. And I, it's, it calls for half a cup, and I'm gonna drizzle it in at a time and mix it in. Okay. And why do you drizzle it in, do you know? It's so you don't use too much water. Oh, um, okay. You don't, yeah. And I so just, what consistency are I you kind of looking for? I want for? this to come together, and when I reach in and pinch it, it, it holds, it just holds together. Oh, okay. We have to get the Dolly Parton pie glass plate with the pinchies in it. <laughs> you guys will find out what pinchies are later. Just a little water. Now I did what with the mixing the the butter and Crisco with the flour. I did it by hand. You, I, a lot of recipes call for using a food processor, and it would make the, this a lot easier. But I just did it by hand. Mmm. So. You want it handmade, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's yeah, it's looking like it should. Okay. It's coming together. dough ball yeah so I've, this this is actually going to be enough for i believe two crusts oh wow so i'm going to cut this in half these are going to i'm just going to make them into little just i have to refrigerate these for a couple of hours so he's making them into patties y'all because he has to refrigerate them for a couple hours Yep. So now I'm just gonna cover these in pla uh, wrap these up in plastic wrap and refrigerate them for a couple of hours. All righty. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Why, hello. What are we uh, doing now? I'm gonna make up uh, the uh, homemade bread dough. Do you want to tell them what it's for? Or do you want to wait? Do, uh, we'll be using the bread in the main dish. Oh, okay. All right. That is that why you made it Sunday? Yes, yeah. Uh, you were yeah, testing it out? Yep. It was a trial run to see how the homemade bread came out, and it came out very well. All so right. So I'm going to do the same thing. Let's do it. So it'll be uh, bread bread flour. Out of that really nice container. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four cups. Four cups of bread flour. And I need more. Well, Donnie needs more bread flour, y'all. All right. Package of yeast. 
some salt. Salt, yeah, about a, a teaspoon and a half. Okay. And sugar. Yeah, about. A tablespoon of sugar. Mm -hmm. Extra. For good luck. Yeah. Mix it together. Okay. All right. Uh, two cups of warm water. And just bring this together until it comes into a ball. And we'll cover that and eh, let it rise for a couple of hours. Okay. If you want to see the full recipe on how to make the bread, y'all, go check out my Sundays are for loafing around video. GB makes the whole bread kit and caboodle in that video. So go check it out. All right. Okay, guys. I wanted you guys to see the peasant top. I, um, I love this, and next time that Old Navy has these, I'm buying eight of them, because I have never felt more gorgeous, comfortable, like a pirate, like, I feel amazing. Like, I love this so much. I think it fits me so good. I, I love the, how it shows off my chest tattoos. I'm just, like, in love, so this is what I'm wearing for Thanksgiving blue jeans. This is what I'm wearing, y'all. This is what I'm wearing, and I feel fabulous. JB's waiting for me outside. We're going to take the pups for a walk, so I just wanted to film this quick, but I love my outfit. I'll do a better view at some point. We are in our walk, y'all. Roxy's walking herself. Well, trying to. She was, until I turned on the camera. Oh, I just kicked a rock. There's JB looking handsome, and Renly trying to get ahead of everybody else. But it's a nice Thanksgiving walk. It's so nice out. It's like, I mean, it's cloudy. The sun's not out. But surprisingly, like, not warm, but very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. So we're gonna walk. What are we doing next? You guys love to find out what we're making in a little bit. So we're gonna walk the dogs. They're all tangled up. And then we're gonna go home, finish the dessert, and then make the bread and get rolling on dinner. So we'll see you at home. So what are you doing over here after our walk, JB? So I took one of the uh, pie dough discs. Okay. The refrigerator. That looks good. Yeah. So I'm gonna uh, lightly floured surface. I want to make it large enough to fit into this uh, nine inch pie plate. Dolly Parton pie plate with the pinchies. We won't watch you roll it out. Okay. We get it. <laughs> How did the rolling out go? Good. I rolled out the uh, crust. And look, you did the pinchies. Yeah. So it's going into a 400 degree oven uh, to pre bake. For about how long? Yeah, 20 minutes maybe. 20 minutes? So Alrighty. So into the oven for how long? About 20 minutes. Or what's the degree, sorry? Oh, uh, 400. <laughs> 400, okay, see you soon, Pi. It looks good, JB, wow. Good job. <laughs> Your homemade pie crust. Now what are you doing for the dessert? All right, I'm making the vanilla custard. The vanilla custard, okay. So I put a uh, pint of heavy cream. Okay, a pint of heavy cream. I'm gonna heat this until it's almost to a simmer, it, it, like it starts to Right, rise up and steam, but before it actually like turns over to it, so I want to scald it. Okay, so what goes into this mixture? Uh, four eggs. I'm going to add some sugar to that. How much sugar? Uh, about two thirds of a cup or so. Okay. And this is the custard you're making? Yes. Okay. Wait for this to boil up, and then we'll be adding it to that. I uh, have the egg yolks and sugar mixed together, and I have the cream. Then I'm slowly adding in so the temperature uh, evens out. And doesn't cook the eggs, right. right? Yeah, I don't want it. If I put the egg right in, I remember the hot, that. It'll yeah, it'll cook the eggs. So now at this time. Add a little vanilla as well. How much vanilla? Uh, about a teaspoon or so. Okay. And I'll put a, just a dash of nutmeg in. A dash of nutmeg? Yeah. Okay. 
going balls to the wall today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah this be good. So then, mix this up. I have the oven preheating to about 300 right now. Okay. <clears throat> Are you putting the pineapple? Not yet. That's why well, I'm I'm going to be cooking that down separately. This is going to bake as a custard pie first. Oh, okay. I'll the pineapple pie. All right. So the oven's preheated to 300. Yep. And I'm going to pour that in there. So now you have it preheated to 300, and how long will you put that in for? I'm gonna check it after, well, check it at maybe after 20 minutes, see what it looks like, and it'll be done when I insert something in the center and it, could, it comes out clean. Okay. So. All right, well, we'll check it in 20 minutes, and we'll let you just know the exact time. All right. All right, so I'm going to prepare uh, the pineapple, uh, pineapple ginger uh, topping for over the custard. So now you're gonna cut up the pineapple? Yes. Yeah. Should we do some magic? Sure. Okay. Do you wanna do it? One, two, three. Woo! Look at that magic, y'all. Magic. Okay, so you have the pineapple. Yep. We're gonna saute that. Okay. Turned off the camera by accident, y'all. Now, what are you sauteing that in? I'm gonna saute this. Uh, I'm gonna add little bit of butter and uh, brown sugar. A little bit of butter and brown sugar, okay. How much butter are you adding? Um, first I'm gonna just add two tablespoons. Okay. Let's see what that does. Okay. You can always add more. So two tablespoons of butter. And we'll see how that goes. How much brown sugar are you adding? I'm gonna add a half a cup. Half a cup? Yeah. Do you think that butter will be good? I think, yeah, I think so. So how many was it? Two tablespoons. Tablespoons, all right. So we'll see this in a little bit. How's it going, handsome? Good. <clears throat> yeah, they're uh, sauteing away. I want them to cook down so it comes a nice, like, thick topping for over the custard pie. That's gonna be so good. Oh, and one thing I still have to add. What? Actually, I, well, I can, I'm going to chop up some candied ginger. Oh. And saute it with the pineapple. I mean, a cookie. I don't want to overpower it, but just give it a nice, nice additional flavor. Are you adding the candy ginger into that? Pine on the into the pineapple saute. Okay. So I'm, I'll chop these up fine. And, uh, All right, them. we'll see you when you add them. Okay. It's going to add the uh, chopped up candy ginger. Okay. Pineapples. Ooh, that's gonna be so good. And good for our bellies. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, we're gonna let this cook. Pull the uh, custard pie out of the Oh, that oven. looks good, honey. Mm -hmm. and this is still cooking? Yeah. Okay. And I'll let this cool, and then once the uh, topping's all finished, uh, we'll be putting this on top of it. So we're putting this on top of the pie. <laughs> yeah. What's going on over here? All right, so the uh, bread dough has risen. Okay. And you're gonna fold it in, yeah. do it. So fold it in. Fold it in, baby. Fold it in. Want me to hold it? Sure. If you could twist it, yeah. I'm try the other way. So I can. We'll go the long way. Okay. There, I'm going. To, <laughs> I'm going to grease my hands with the Pam. Everyone thought you greasing your hands with the Pam was a good idea. You're just that Pam is giving you butter fingers before it's even on your hands. I have Pam fingers. That sounds dirty. <laughs> yeah, uh, unintentional, but. All right, and I'm just gonna let them sit uncovered. 20 minutes or so to rise before we put them in the oven. All right, what do we put them in the oven at? Uh, 425. Hey, all JB's having me try this pineapple. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Mmm-hmm. Very, very good. So we're coming down to the ending of the pie, huh? Yeah, found. 
I'm, and I'll let this cool. I'm put this on and let them cool. Okay. Um, and yeah, later on when we go to serve it, um, I'm going to make up some fresh whipped cream. Okay, let me come over here. Wow, that looks amazing, JB. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very beautiful, honey. Good job. Thank you. Beautiful, just like me. <sighs> what did you say? I said you were my inspiration. Oh, I love you. I love you. So the uh, bread is ready to throw in the oven. And what are you throwing it in at? Uh, 425 for 15 minutes, and then reducing it to 375 for about 17 minutes. All right, we'll see it in about 15 minutes. Or, well, half an hour. All right. <laughs> I just pulled, pulled the bread out of the oven. Beautiful, honey. Wow. Uh, to be honest with you, I think they came out better than last time. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now what are we doing? So now I shall finally get the uh, turkey breasts ready to uh, roast in the oven. I'm freaking starving, yo. I can't wait. So I need to actually, before you, I need to wash some of this stuff and get it out of the way because I need to rinse that. Thing. What are you doing over here, JB? Filling yeah. up the turkey? Yeah. That, those are some big turkey breasts. Yeah, there's so, some big breasts. Yeah. So I'm going to take, uh, I have some butter that's been sitting out at room temperature. Okay. I'm going to take, break it apart, rub it up under the skin. Yeah, just kind of coat it all over. Feel it up a little. Yep. And then after I do this, I'm going to sprinkle some seasonings on it. I have the oven set at 325. It'll probably end up roasting for a few hours. Okay. So, We're going to put some seasonings on the turkey breasts. Salt. Yep. White people's favorite seasoning. <laughs> Brown black pepper. Some black pepper on these big breasts. They are. I think it's eight pounds altogether. Wow. Some Badia complete seasoning. We love this Badia, y'all. You want to show them? We love it. Why don't you get some more on the counter? <laughs> Some paprika. Are you seasoning the counter too? Mm -hmm. And some crushed red pepper. No sriracha? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you thought about yeah, it yeah. though. Let's put a little Pam on it just so it the spices don't scorch. That's a good idea. Alright. And that's going in at 3. 25. For hours. See you in a little bit. Now that the turkey's in the oven, what are we doing? All right, we're going to um, cook down this salt pork. Okay. It's like the thick slab. Bacon. Okay. Salt pork. Okay. And you're going to cook that down. Is it cooked like bacon? Yeah, it's going to cook longer and a little lower than bacon does, though. So. Okay. The people still don't know what we're having yet. Should we just keep it a secret? Okay. Yeah, let's keep it a secret. So turkey's in the oven and we're using salt pork. Oh, yeah. How's it cooking? Good looking. Good. How's your pork doing? Yeah. That smells amazing. Mm -hmm. It smells so, so good, JB. Y'all, I'm starving over here. Help me, help me. I'm hungry, honey. Mm -hmm. We said we didn't get we didn't get any appetizers. <laughs> that was our one mistake. <laughs> you pork GB. Good. I'm gonna take them off and. Oh, look at those! Wow. Yummy, yummy. Okay. So you're taking them off, and then what are we doing next? Then with the bacon grease, we'll be able to start up the uh, what, what's going to be the um, collard greens. Okay. All right. What's going on, JB? All right, I have the, uh, uh, the the drippings left over from uh, doing up the salt pork, and I'm going to saute some chopped up onions. Okay. Then what? And I'll put in a little bit of garlic, cook them down a bit, and then I'll be adding uh, chicken broth, better than bullion chicken, some water, uh, 
do uh, fresh ground black pepper, uh, some... All right, we'll get okay. to it. Okay. <laughs> so now what do you add in Jibing? Uh, a spoonful of chopped garlic. A spoonful of garlic and the world goes round. Right? Something like that. Okay, we're adding some. Okay, better than boy. Better than boy and chicken. Thank you. Yeah, right. I'll add 16.9 ounces of water. 16.9 ounces of water. It's a splash of apple cider vinegar. Okay. Just go at your heart with that one. Yeah. Enough to you can smell it. Do y'all hear Modern Family in the back? We're watching Modern Family. Phil! Who am I, honey? Hmm. Uh, Sophia Pink. Vergara. Oh! <laughs> Who did you think? Shut up! Well, you tried. <laughs> you tried. So you added some pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and some badia. Complete seasoning. Mm -hmm. Oh, JV's checking on the turkey. Wow. JV. Mm -hmm. Those are some breasts. Sure are. <laughs> so you think you're gonna put it in more? Let me see what this looks like here. Okay. Yeah, I'd say this is about ready. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Can I show them your collard greens? Wow. I added a little bit of sugar in too. Yes, I forgot to get that, guys. He added sugar and I forgot to get him putting them in. But there's the collard greens. Mm -hmm. Everything's gonna be delicious. I'm excited, honey. Yeah. And get ready to make the cheese sauce. I'll get the tomatoes roasting while the turkey's resting. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Yummy. So now what are you doing? So I have uh, some uh, plum tomatoes here. Mm -hmm. And I toss them with olive oil and uh, fresh ground pepper and salt. Okay. So I'm going to put these right in the oven. Oh, you're putting them right in the oven? Yep. Oh, wow. I'm going to roast them 350. Okay. So cook down a bit. All right. Oh, the anticipation's killing me for what we're having. Yeah. yeah. Ready to make the cheese sauce, y'all. And Roxy's on cheese patrol. She's waiting. She's here just in case anything falls. Yeah, it's a four year age cheddar. Four year age cheddar. It's gonna be good. Yeah, it is. So we're having a cheese sauce, bread, turkey, collards. Roasted tomatoes. Can anyone guess what we're having yet? I don't think they'll be able to, JB. Probably not. No. Don't mind if I do. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I have cheese all over me. <laughs> it's good though. Mmm. What are you doing? All right. Well. <laughs> Going, melting a stick of butter. So we're getting the cheese gonna, sauce yep, going. Gonna make a roux with flour. A heaping spoonful of flour into the butter. Okay. Okay, so you added the flour to the butter mm -hmm. and you whisked it a little bit. Yeah. And uh, so <laughs> I'm, going, uh, I'm going to add about two cups of half and half. I'm uh, going to add some Bavarian style mustard as well. Wow, Willie! So, butter, flour, half and half, mustard. Oh, here it is. We knew he wasn't going to leave this out this Thanksgiving, huh? Some sriracha. Some sriracha. Some Worcestershire. Some Worcestershire sure, sure, sure sauce. Yeah, we'll bring this up. It'll start to simmer and it'll thicken up. And then once it begins to thicken up, we'll Turn it off, add the cheese, give it a stir, and that'll be ready. Okay. So we're gonna wait for this to thicken up, y'all. They're hot. Yeah. What's hot, these? Ooh, yeah. So those are the roasted tomatoes? Yeah. That you made? 
Yep. The roasted tomatoes. So the cheese sauce is thickened up. Oh, yeah, it, it has. Wow. So I'm going to add the cheddar. Adding the cheddar. Oh, that's going to be so good, JB. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, JB, are you ready to tell them what we're having? All right, we're going to make a dish called Kentucky Hot Browns. Yeah. And um, I'll start putting it together here. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drizzle a little olive oil in the bottom of the pan. Okay. I'm gonna take this loaf of bread. Oh, it's like a sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's like a, it's an it'll be an open face sandwich. The ingredients that we've been com uh, compiling. Last year we had Rachel's. This year we're having Kentucky Hot Brown. Mm -hmm. All right. Took a loaf of the bread that we made up. Okay. Okay, and take some of the turkey breast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Start cutting this down. And then you put it on the bread. Yep. All right. <laughs> So we have the uh, we have the turkey. Okay. I'm going to take a uh, little ladle. Oh, no, that one's gone forever. <laughs> a little ladle and some of the. I'm just gonna some of the yeah. Uh, the the juice. Yeah. Okay. Gonna, okay. Yeah, just a little bit. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, and then the salt pork. All right. Okay. All right. Now, the cheese sauce. And we're going to put the oven on broil. So put the oven on broil. And how long will you put them in for? Just till it gets bu bubbly and golden on top. All righty. <laughs> all right, y'all. Here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Here's our hot Kentucky browns with our collard greens. I'll get a close-up there for you. Oh, my gosh. It looks and smells amazing, Jamie. Mm -hmm. So excited. Let me see what you got going on over there. Okay. I want a little bit of everything. Okay. There we go. Mmm. 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 <laughs> it's so good. Mmm. So good. Those flavors are amazing. Mmm. So Oh yeah, y'all, yeah, I have my Linda trip try. Monica. Oh my gosh, JB. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's really, really good. I love that salt pork. Yeah, that's nice. And that cheese sauce. Yeah, that salt pork's really, really nice. It has really good flavor. And with the cheese sauce and the tomatoes, oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Wow, that's a meal. Yeah, that's a mm. mm -hmm. Oh, let me try. I'm gonna try a little bit of everything. I want the collard greens on it too. Oh, I didn't get any of the collard greens on my fork. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Wow. Five out of five. Mm -hmm. Ten out of ten. Mm. Very, very good. Very, very good. That cheese sauce is bomb. Mmm. The whole thing is amazing. Mm. So, so good, y'all. No complaints for me here whatsoever. I was hungry. And this is hitting the spot. So scared my tray is gonna <laughs> break or tip over. All right, y'all, we're gonna go eat, but stay tuned because we still have to try some dessert. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so what are we doing now for dessert, JB? We're not done yet, y'all. I'm gonna make up some uh, fresh whipped cream. Okay. Uh, to have pineapple ginger custard pie. So, I had the bowl in the freezer. Okay. 
get well chilled and the cream just out of the refrigerator. Okay. Getting the whipping of it, guys, but it's getting all over my phone. <laughs> now, what are you adding? I'm putting sugar in. About how much? Um, I guess let's let's we'll try like four good tablespoons. Oh wow, that's already like thick. It's getting there. Wow, look at that vanilla. Okay, about a teaspoon. Give it a sample, make sure it's sweet enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So are we ready to dish up? Mm -hmm. All righty, we'll see you in a little. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. Sound like little Nicky. Oh, I do. Oh, wow. Oh wait, what's what's his brother's name? Yeah. Uh, oh, Adrian, what are you doing? I do, do I? That's so fun. Oh wow, Adrian, Dad needs you back in hell. Sorry, guys. <laughs> wow, I was going for a Holly Hunter, but this light is way too bright. So my chin. And grin and say. All right, y'all. So here we have our. What, do you, what would you call this, Jimmy? Pineapple. What? Pineapple candy ginger uh, custard pie. Pineapple can. Uh, pineapple candied gin. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat the pie. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat it. Mm. There we go. Mmm. Right off the bat. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Wow. That's fresh, fresh whipped cream. Yeah, whipped, mm. whipped cream. Mm. You know, I'm going to say this. I was really nervous about the ginger, but it really adds a super nice flavor to it. Yeah, it's not overpowering at all. Not one bit. It actually brings out the flavor in the pineapple. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Here you go, y'all. Wow. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you. Mm. I'm usually not one for a citrusy dessert. I'm really not. Mm. Mm. Well, y'all, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. We hope that y'all had a really, really great turkey day. And got to eat a lot and enjoy and have a great day. Thank you for joining us and thank you, JB, for cooking mm. and showing everybody what you were making. Yeah, that's fun. We had this in the works for a couple weeks, y'all. Several weeks, actually. Ever since JB had the Kentucky Hot Brown at Frogtown. Mm -hmm. But yours were, oh my God, yours were banging. So we hope y'all enjoyed your turkey day. And we know we enjoyed ours. I'm ready after this dessert to get my editing done, get my comfies out of the dryer, take my shower, and get on the couch with my boobie. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm excited to do. We're going to pick a movie. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. I hope you had a great holiday. Thank you for watching me on your phones, in your homes, or on your tablets. And I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or night. Whenever you watch me, I will definitely see you tomorrow. So until the next one. Yoo-hoo. Bye-bye. <laughs>